Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here GRE General Test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. This is what you need to practice for the real exam. This has seven, this book consists of seven exams. This is what you want to practice from. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 123 in this book. Quantitative comparison question number 11. Let's take a look at it. There are 15 questions in the, in, in the set here, which means the first five were easy, the next five were medium, the last five are hard. 11 through 15 are hard. Not, not that it means anything at all for you when you take your exam, because yours is a new exam, the computer adaptive exam, where the questions are not arranged in the order of difficulty. But anyway, this is number 11. Let's take a look at it. We are told that triangular region T1 and T2 have equal areas and have heights H1 and H2 respectively. All right, so we know that area T1 is same as area T2. Area of the triangle, area of first triangle is same as the area of the second triangle. Let's see what is it that we are asked to compare. We are asked to compare area of T1 over H1 versus area of T2 over H2. Well, I have just been told, I have just been told then the area of the two triangles are equal. If the, two tri if the area of the two triangles are equal, then this quantity here, area of T1, is same as the area of this triangle T2, they play no role in it. For example, if you ask me to compare these two quantities, which one is bigger, uh, 5 over x, or 5 over why you're asking me which quantity is bigger, you ask me to compare which quantity is bigger, well this 5 plays no role. This 5 basically plays no role. In other words, what you're asking me to compare is 1 over x over versus 1 over y, which of course is, which of course is same as comparing x and y. Do you understand? So what can you tell me about x and y in this, in this scenario? What can you tell me? Which quantity is bigger? X or Y? What can you tell me? The answer to that is absolutely nothing. And the same applies here. Same exact thing applies here. Let me erase all of this thing here. So, all we are asked to compare is 1 over H1 versus 1 over H2. Which quantity is bigger? How the hell do I know? You can't tell. If this is 10 and this is 5, you're dealing with 1 over 10 versus 1 over 5, in which case the answer is B. Or if the height of this one is 10, if the height of second if the height of second triangle is 10 and the height of first triangle is 5, then the answer is A. It keeps changing. You can't tell. Or maybe they are equal, who knows? Well they can be equal because we are told that they have different heights. They have heights H1 and H2. So C is ruled out. But uh, we can't really tell which one is bigger. The answer is D. That's all it is. I hope, I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to all the problems here in this, in this book, in either case, go to my website at www.preppreppfor4gre.com and send me an email. All right? Thank you.